Okay guys, so welcome to me and my golf TV and welcome to the Impact Show. We are at a different location, Pierce. Orlando, Orlando Florida, Florida, here for the PGA Shows and we're at the Ledbetter Golf Academy here and we're joined with a special guest, Michael Lane. Mike, how are you doing? Thanks okay. for joining us here. Michael, can Thanks, you just tell us a little bit here. about your role here at the Ledbetter Academy and what you actually do here? So a lot of what we do is try and connect great movement patterns and performance into directly into the golf swing. So we kind of take a look at what, you know, normal uh, people and what their body and how it moves, whether it's an efficient manner or not, and we try and attach that directly to the golf swing. So it's really all about taking what the instructor sees and giving them the how that's happening and the why that's happening and how we're going to fix that. So from a body side. Definitely. So and really a lot of people who watch our videos obviously know the technical side is very important. Also the fitness side. Sure, sure. A lot of people maybe not have the awareness of actually what they can do themselves to improve mm. their fitness side. So we're going to attach it today to, we're going to talk about the hanging back swing fault, something that we sort of refer to a lot. People who struggle to shift weight to the lead side at impact and then look at maybe some physical things yeah. that we can do, the guys at home can do to test to see if they can really improve their pattern as you mentioned. This Mike. is not going to be an easy video for anyone watching this at home because we're going to get you up standing up and doing some, some, some exercises in a moment. Should we I'm go for the hanging pierce as well? I'm going to get tested as well, important. which I'm not looking forward to. So I'll go for the hanging back. <laughs> yeah, go for the hanging shot, back, yeah? yeah. So you're safe there, Mike, don't worry. He's been watching my swing all day, so he knows he's safe. So the hanging back is when we get into the top of the back swing, but then from there we don't transfer the energy through to the lead side efficiently. So we keep that weight on that back foot, and this is what happens. And you can see where that golf club is. It's going to bottom out before the golf ball, hitting the ground before the ball, hitting the ball clean you know, not just hitting, just not hitting it solid enough. And we see this all the time. And mm -hmm. it's obviously, sometimes it's linked to a physical limitation. Absolutely. So what are we, what are we, what are we looking at then, Mike? So when you, when you see someone, when you, when you screen somebody, mm -hmm. if you know they've got that swing for, what sort of things are you looking for? Well, I would say the very first thing that we have to look at, if we just look at a view this way here and we Let's have this it. way, yeah? yeah, absolutely. So the first thing we want to sort out is just make sure that this pelvic tilt is on point because if you see here, we have a really great pelvic tilt and this back looks nice and flat like an Adam Scott kind of posture. Okay. But if we were to have what we call more of an anterior tilt or a tilt in this back here, yeah. what you would see is you can't efficiently transfer that weight onto that left side. So you'd see more of that hang back move just because you're, because of this back position, you're limiting the mobility of this hip. You're limiting that weight transfer. So just a good aesthetic, nice pelvic neutral and see a nice flat back, that's our first cue. And then what we want to see and what we see with most athletes is not really what about, you know, that they can or can't, it's just about do they or don't they. Mm -hmm. So once that pelvis is sorted out, we just want to make sure as, as we have that club here, we just want to make sure as we turn to our left that we're getting into our left side. So if you look here, you can see the belt buckle, the pelvis and the belly button have all passed that stick, which tells me that he's in a really great and stable impact position and that he's transferred that weight into his left side for, for that really good impact position. See what I did there, Andy, when I, when I went through, I actually pushed the club that way as well, to <laughs> <Yeah>. make sure. <laughs> and, I mean, yeah. Pierce has obviously it. got a good weight shift in his downswing, but let's say somebody who who may struggle with weight shift, what sort of things would you see them do if they weren't quite doing this movement? Right, right exactly. So what you would see really is as, as, as he goes to transfer his weight, you'd kind of see these hips move more to the right, even though his hips are turning to the left. And that's like a dead giveaway for that for that that hang patented back. hang back move and really what you'd like to, what you see as well is as they try and wind or as they try and go into that backswing you see a reverse shift this way as well so you kind of get that player that that goes into their backswing and you see it get reversey this way yeah, and then yeah. it's hang back that way that's okay. kind of the, the one two bang that you see of most you know amateur golfers so the guys at home can can sort of work at that again maybe using a mirror as well that's always going to help but Absolutely. they can get that load into that trail side but then see if it can pass and get into that side no that looks actually it. really easy how, how will it because we say this all the time how mm -hmm. will the people at home know that they're doing this properly is it do you, exactly. do you video it or do you I would definitely use the mirror that's a okay. great thing most people even in your bathroom or in you know one of the rooms in your house I'm sure you have a full length mirror so as you look at this club here this club kind of bisects your body from up and down right so you see the chest the belly button and the pelvis and the belt buckle there kind of cuts him right in half so as he turns into that backside or separates the lower body from the upper body you can see that half of his body has moved to the right of the stick that's a yeah. good sign that He's got this weight in his right side and he's really loaded up well. And then again, what you can do as you transfer to this left side, you start to see all of that second half of that middle right there move to the left side of the stick. So really when you can load into that right side and you can load into that left side, that's a really good key to me that you have a good rotational pattern and that you're able to do what we need you to do so you can shift that weight efficiently. So this is, this is the drill that people can do at home and doing this right now. And it's interesting when I do it, I definitely feel as though it's a little 
a bit tighter going this side, mm -hmm. and then I feel as though it's a lot freer going that side. No doubt about and it. That may be because I've hit a lot of golf shots, possibly. Exactly right. So what's, which side do you spend the most time on? Yeah. That left side, right? So that left side is most, much, much more likely to be freed up. What you'll also notice, though, as, as he winds into that back side, you see that pelvis gets just a little bit anterior this way. So that also adds a little bit to okay. that hip getting yeah. a little bit tight. So for the people at home, not only doing the drill in front of the mirror this way, but also getting sort of that down the line view as they're winding so you don't see that kind of archy back yeah. on the way through. That's yeah. kind of the, the trick that we see out here the most is they may look great at setup and then they kind of roll to the outside of this foot, this hip kicks out and this knee collapses and you get that, you know, reversey position or vice versa on the through side, so which would, would make, be that hang back. That would make sense with my golf swing because definitely you could feel that when I was going, when I was from this position here, as I rotate in this side, I can feel that little bit of that anterior tilt. Exactly, that sort of exactly. Arching at the back. Exactly. So. Right, okay, so I think, I mean, some great things there, some very simple exercises that yeah. guys can do at home. Mm -hmm. Pierce, I mean, I know what we can do now is sort of take that same feeling to maybe even a setup position I think we should and do. put that into practice and then exactly see if you can right. I think we should it. we should do a drill as well, so to complement that. So obviously, if people have they've, they've screened themselves. Sure, exactly. From both sides, from exactly. down the line and front on there, so they've screened themselves that way. They've had a go with the drill, which I really like, which is as you say, the same as the test, mm -hmm. which is makes it really really simple. So rotate mm -hmm. and a bit of a bump there, exactly, and right. then a rotation. We can do that in a drill. So that'd we? be your full progression right there. Once you understand that you can get to your right side and get to your left side. You want to you want to kind of re replicate that in the pattern that you're trying to do as you're out on the range or the golf course or wherever yeah. it might be, right? So once you get that drill down pat, just like you were saying, you'd want to wind into that right side, feel that little bit of weight transfer. And here's the real key to this: is with that weight transfer, you don't want to spin those hips because that's kind of the dead giveaway for your hang back fault, right? So as you transfer that weight, you almost want to feel like these hips stay closed and it gets about that left side first, and then we start to turn and get more into that impact position. That's that's a good rotational pattern, very fundamentally sound, very efficient. Okay. Right, Pierce, so let's, let's, let's take it to I'm going to attach a drill to this, right, so I'll do come these. Down here, the sure, sure. This swing yeah. is a little bit interesting. <laughs> yeah, so right. what, I think it, the good thing with that is obviously you stabilize yourself, so I think like, exactly like my core right. really felt like it was being engaged and it felt very stable. I think the drill that we often do, which is very similar to this, is we will just sort of from here get people to bump first mm -hmm. and then turn, which is the same yeah, as the drill. Yeah, you feel that impact. So this is a great way of getting rid of the hanging back, isn't it? So let's get people maybe to sort of take the setup and go, right, okay, I'm going to bump then, I'm going to turn, and then I'm going to reset myself and then pull the trigger. All right, let's have a go. There we go. And probably one of the best shots I've seen Pierce on camera I've got a new there. caddy. Hey, I've got a new Look caddy. That. <laughs> Good job there, Pierce. Okay, guys, so some great, some great things that you can do there to maybe fix that hanging back if you are somebody that, but some interesting insights there to what the physical uh, limitations could be as well. Post any questions you have down below. We'd love to get back to you. A big thanks to Mike there for joining us on the Impact Show. Hey, thank you guys so much. Ledbetter Academy here in Orlando. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you soon.